Managing Kubernetes can be complex, whether it's generating YAML files, troubleshooting deployment issues, or keeping up with best practices. Imagine having an AI-powered assistant that can automate these tasks, validate configurations, and provide real-time insights directly from your clusters. In this tutorial, we will show you how to build exactly that, a real-time Kubernetes AI agent using DigitalOcean's GenAI platform. I am Shamim Rashid, Senior Solutions Architect at DigitalOcean, and welcome to this video. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's ensure we have everything we need. You will need DigitalOcean CLI or DocDL to interact with the DigitalOcean platform. You will need Python 3.10 or later installed on your machine. You will need DigitalOcean functions for cloud functions. And you will need GenAI platform access to build and configure your AI agent. With this AI-powered Kubernetes Assistant, you will be able to automatically generate Kubernetes YAML manifests. You can validate YAML files on troubleshoot issues and you can fetch real-time Kubernetes cluster details using the DigitalOcean API. Let's now move on to setting up the function in DigitalOcean Cloud Panel. First, we need to prepare a function that will allow our AI agent to interact with the DigitalOcean API and retrieve Kubernetes cluster information. For that, you will need to go to the DigitalOcean Cloud Panel, go to Functions. You can select the data center region. I'm choosing BLA1 for now. You can choose a label here and click create namespace. After creating the namespace, you can use the docTL command line tool to interact with your namespace. So it is connected now. And now you can initialize a sample Python project also using docTL. Yeah, that's also done. Now let us move into configuring the function. So I have created this function, example project, and let's see what it does go. I have also added this environment file for the spaces key and the API token so that the function can retrieve the cube config file. And also I have replaced the files with a bit of a code that will help in retrieving the cluster information. You can find a complete example with all the required code and configuration in the document which is mentioned in the description. After deployment, you can test the function through web interface to ensure it returns the expected information about your cluster. Once the function is ready, you can deploy the function to make it available on the cloud with this docTIL command. After deployment, you can see the function under this namespace you have created, and you can check here to ensure it returns the expected information about your cluster. Once the function is ready, you can create your AI agent either through the Cloud Panel or API. Here I'm going to create it using the cloud panel. So create agent. I'm giving it a name, for example, Kubernetes bot, and I'm providing the agent instructions to define its purpose. That depends on your use case. And I'm selecting a model. I'm selecting Llama 3.3 for now. And I'm creating the agent. After creating the Genia agent, we need to attach the web crawling data source to the knowledge base. For that, we need to go to the agents page in the cloud panel, go to resources, go to knowledge bases, create knowledge bases, and select data source as URL for web crawling. And here I am giving Kubernetes.io URL as the seed URL, and I'm selecting most broad crawling rules. I'm indexing the embedded data and add selected data source. And that is ready. Okay, the knowledge base has been successfully created. Once it is done, you can go back to the agent that you have created, go to resources and knowledge bases, add knowledge base, and we can connect that with the one we have created. Yeah, the linking of knowledge base has been completed successfully. Now we need to connect the function that we have created earlier with this GenAI agent. For that, in the same resources page, we will see function routes. We can add a function route here. Select the namespace that we have created. Select the function. And we can add some function instructions. And we can give the function route name. I'm giving list as an example. Then we need to define the input and output schema. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the example that is given in the tutorial in the description. 
once you have completed the input and output schema you can click on add function and that has been done I have now added that Jenny I agent that we just created to a test website that we have. Let us now try asking the agent questions about the DigitalOcean account. I am going to ask this agent some questions about Kubernetes in this DigitalOcean account. And I'm asking to list all the pod in the cube system namespace. And here you go. Let us also try another prompt where I ask the agent to generate a YAML manifest file for Nginx deployment with three replicas and we have got the output. So the agent will call your function, retrieve the information from the cluster and provide you with an intelligent response. And that's it. We have successfully built a real-time AI-powered Kubernetes assistant using DigitalOcean's Gen AI platform. This agent will help automate your Kubernetes workflows, reduce complexity, and provide intelligent insights at your fingertips. Thank you for watching the video and for following along.